Hello friends, we are going to learn today digital to analog converter. There are two types of digital to analog converter. One is the battery register method. The another one is uh, R2R ladder. There is a disadvantage of battery register method. There are several values, values of registers, values are required to implement for the practical implementation of the digital to analog converter. So uh, in our, in our R2R ladder, we require only two registers. One is the value of R, the another value is 2R so we are going we are going to implement using the digital controller and these digital values uh, are using to, uh, by using the r2r later we are converting these digital value into analog output so how we are going to do we will sh we'll share process to implement these so for these i wrote a code on the uh, for these i wrote a code in the Vivado Xilinx uh, software. Uh, this is the sign values, positive and negative values, and this is a simple code to generation of the sign values. And I taken the sign as a 8 bit. You can see here. Here I taken the sign is a 8 bit. So these 8 bit values uh, will be the output of the controller and this output of the controller is used to can be uh, converted uh, into this digital and into analog form using the r2 r lighter so how will it will go so this is the basis three kit uh, or fpga basis three kit on which these are the digital pins digital output pins and uh, the output i connected to R2R ladder and you can see here R2R ladder and uh, uh, this is the open uh, circuit 741 right 741 so the basic circuitry of the R2R ladder is just simple you can search in the night now we will, s we will connect the CRO to the open and we will see the output you can see so you can see here uh, this is the sine wave of 50 this is the sine wave of 50 hertz which is 50 hertz so if you see these are the reserved due to the uh, changes in the output each and every clock cycle so you can see here this is this uh, So if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and comment me to more and more interesting video. Give me the idea so I can implement using the FPGA. Thank you very much.